compete as an art collector using your fortune to purchase paintings from five different art genres, trying to increase the values of these paintings throughout the game. <laughs> Thank you for joining me at Tantrum House Studio D. I'm Kevin Delp. Today we're looking at Art Deco, the deck building game for two to four players that has a price manipulation mechanic in it. It's being published here in the United States by Rio Grande Games. They sent us this copy to review. The main board has places for art pieces in the art gallery, bank for money. The museum has end game goals and genre markers as well. There's a market rating board to keep track of all these values. Players have a player board that will not only help them keep track of the market values, but also show the actions available and how the game ends. Here's a quick overview of the game. Players take two actions on their turn, like acquiring new paintings, showing off paintings in the museum. Now this will increase the values of the paintings. Trying to purchase them at lower prices is good to help you win the game. You can use gold to purchase cards, but you can also use your art cards too. Their value is determined by the position on the market board. Each art card is worth one gold at the beginning of the game, but the values will rise throughout the game. When you purchase a new card, you can choose a card from the gallery, pay the cost, and move that genre's marker based on the location you purchased the card from. The higher an art genre goes, the more valuable it becomes which means those art cards are more valuable in your hand, so you can then purchase even more new art. Eventually, you'll be able to show off an art card in the museum. You'll pay the cost shown at the exhibition, and the market rating will also go up based on the art card you show off. You'll get points by placing your ribbon on a victory point space in the museum. An interesting thing is that there are special abilities on the gold cards. And if you use that ability, then you remove it from the game. Now, I like this kind of mechanism in deck building games. It helps you be able to thin your deck. Throughout the game, the cost of the art cards will increase in the different galleries. This happens when two or more galleries run out of paintings and you put new ones in. The game is over when 12 or more paintings are in the museum, or there are no cards left in the deck, or a token reaches a market rating of 70 or higher. Then you count up points. You'll get points from your gold cards and paintings. The points are indicated on the market rating board for each genre. You'll add these points to the points you accumulated throughout the game and see who wins. This is a solid deck building game that I really enjoy playing. Let me talk about some of the things I like and don't like about Art Deco. I don't like the box cover. I wish it was better. I like that there are different genres of art, but I don't like that there are art cards that have duplicates. I wish every card was unique art. It would feel more thematic to me personally. If I'm showing off an art piece in a museum, I don't want to show off that same art in another museum. I mean, does that make one of them a forgery? I don't really know. I'm sure it would cost more production-wise to get unique pieces of art for every card, but I personally would have liked that. The only other thing I don't like is that the orange and the pink colors are pretty close. It's nice that they have different icons representing each genre, and that does help differentiate them. I personally do love the theme, the art pieces and showing them off in the museum is really fun. I also love the twist on the deck building mechanic, where some of your art cards are actually increasing in value. Can you pick the right genre that are going up in value? Maybe you partner with someone who also is choosing a specific genre, and that way you are working together to increase that value. Not only can you increase the value from the gallery, but you can also do that in the museum. But showing off in the museum means that the art card is no longer in your deck. And that can sometimes be a little painful because that's less value that you can use to buy more art cards. But I really like that tension in the game. I also like that there are different end game triggers that keeps players on their toes. So overall, I would recommend this game, especially if you like deck building games. And as always, we would love for you to like, comment in this video what kind of art games you like, and please like and subscribe to Tantrum House.